they are witches. Here is Leticia trying to make a voiceover for this video. Today we are going to make this mini altar and we will have a little surprise in the end of the video, so stay tuned. A detailed list of all the material I used is going to be in the description of the video, just below. I had little problems while doing this video and one of them is the focus so in the beginning everything will be a little out of focus I'm sorry for that I try to decide which of the true papers I'm going to use to cover my can and as you can see I had a really hard time choosing <laughs> I'm a Libra and it's true Librians have really hard time making choices <laughs> once i decide on the paper i will align it with the bottom of the can to make the cut and using the bottom to make the upper lead will make the paper really fit and i also use a stamp to put a motto in the paper i stamped it with gold acrylic pen and let it dry. I used pliers to hold the nail and I'm warming it with a lighter so I can drill a little guitar playing palette to make the Ouija board reading tool, you know that one? I don't know the name of it in English actually, uh, the Ouija board reading tool. So if you know the name of it, of this tool, please comment in the comments down below. <laughs> I will be really thankful to know the name of it. <laughs> then I use scissors and I'm going to warm it with the lighter as well to increase the size of the hole I just made in the palette, in the guitar palette. This will allow us to see, uh, to see better the letters on the little Ouija board in the can lid. To remove any marks and or paint, just use acetone, it will erase everything. I use the spray, a uh, glue spray, to stick all the paper inside the can. I really like the spray because it helps you working with paper. It gives you a little time to straighten it up and put the paper the way you want it and let it dry. The pentagram is a pendant, the ones you buy from Wish or AliExpress, you know. And I used pliers to remove the hole uh, from the pendant and voila. With a nail file, uh, it's very easy to remove any imperfections and then this piece will look very smooth. See, I tried to use E6000 to make a little fan, but mine was really old so it did not work right and I ended up opting for a contact glue. Also very good to make jewelry. And the mini fan is a piece from Graphic 45. Who does scrapbook here will know. Graphic 45 make these beautiful papers and little embellishments to make scrapbook and I'm also a scrapbook girl, so that's it. The bird feather was found in one of my wanderings. I'm pretty sure it's a seagull feather. If it is, it fits very well for this mini altar because it can symbolize optimism. And to remind us that opportunities, they're always there, they do exist. So it symbolizes optimism. The contact glue, you have to leave it in the air for a little bit, like five minutes or a little bit more. When you put your finger, it has to stick, and if it does, it's good to go. Be precise, because once you put the feather, uh, it will stick for good, yeah, and you won't be able to remove it and let it dry. I also decided to line the bottom of the can as well, the inside of the can, and you see me here measuring the side of the can and I leave about a centimeter of paper. When you glue the sides inside, there will be a small part of the paper that will stay in the bottom of the can and when you put your bottom, it will give a better finish and you won't see any exposed metal because the leftover paper will be there. Then here with a white pen, um, just highlighting my mold. Christmas bells. You know the ones you find at the dollar store? <laughs> That's it. I used a piece of cord, 
little chord that I had, put the three together, give three nods, and voila! Your mini bell for your mini altar is done! And I do everything in tree. That's the way I learn it. The perfect trinity of the mother goddess. And that's it, you know? Uh, <laughs> that's it, tree. In the glass jar, I'm putting some ordinary salt from my kitchen. I didn't have coarse salt, and the salt is to sprinkle around your circle to protect you. There are some people who is going to say, ah, don't use uh, kitchen salt, it's offensive or whatever. I use it so often, kitchen salt, and nothing bad ever happened to me inside the circle. You can use whatever you have, black salt, regular salt, coarse salt, salt, that's it. For instance, having in mind that this, this is a mini altar, I didn't have place to put the sensor so I'm using a solid incense like this rectangle one, it smells divine, or you can use a cone as well. Tea light or birthday candles are also a good choice, it matches. I stamped again the motto of this mini altar, the Yumi part, the stones, crystals. <laughs> Those are here to mark my cardinal points. I call them ancient ones. To the north, I'm going with moss agate, beautiful peas. To the east, yellow citrine stone. For the west, lapis lazuli. And to the south, black obsidian. Of course, you can use other stones that you can find uh, easily over the internet. Those were the stones I had at hand to make this mini altar. The small crystal quartz pointed. It can serve as an atame or a wand. You can always use your own finger to be your wand when you're doing your workings. You can decide on how to use the tool. The small mini bell the Ouija board reading tool, the mini fan, this small cupule of an acorn can serve as a chalice. I put some glaze inside and outside to protect it, so we can put water inside it. It's really cute. And the pentagram, and that's it, the mini altar is done. Oh yeah, finally, the surprise, you are here until now, until the end. I think you already know, don't you suspect? Well, this mini altar is going to be part of my giveaway. <laughs> if you don't know already what is going on, please check in the upper part of this video, check the card, and go watch the first video where I started the giveaway idea. I'm giving away this beautiful mini altar with everything you saw inside, and I'm also giving that beautiful dream catcher I made. So that's it, guys! You like it? <laughs> if so, please help me make this channel grow. Give a like to this video, and if you really like it, share it with your friends. I hope you have enjoyed the time you spent with me today. And I hope this video can encourage you to do your own mini altar or to join my channel. Remember, it's free. Big kiss to everyone and I see you on the next video. Bye!